former president and convicted criminal Donald Trump made his triumphant return to Twitter slash X to do a live interview with chief twit Elon Musk. And it turned out to be a disaster. Uh, first off, the scheduled chat started about 40 minutes late as a result of the platform failing to be able to launch a live stream. Hmm, getting some deja vu on that one. Uh, then when they finally got going, there were some uh, other issues. Because I see you broke every record in the book with uh, so many millions of people, and it's an honor. We view that as an honor. And then uh, you do want silencing of certain voices. Usually those are voices that... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> What's on the slurring list? All right. Uh, now, it turns out that is a result of audio compression, which causes distortion, um, because it actually sounded better on Trump's side. Uh, but great platform, Elon. Yes, making a presidential candidate sound like Sylvester the Cat. And remember, this is a billionaire-owned platform that apparently can't even do radio when radio obviously exists. I don't know, maybe uh, Elon Musk shouldn't have fired almost everyone that knew what they're doing at Twitter and then, you know, hired basically sycophants. I'm just saying, it, it might have might have turned out uh, a little bit better. Stupid, bad decision. Uh, now, that said, Elon blames a massive DDoS attack, which is a de distributed denial of service. Uh, however, sources within X told The Verge that there was a 99% chance Elon is lying about that such an attack. 99% chance that the boss is full of crap. Okay, then. Well, whoopsie. It doesn't matter, though, uh, because Fox News immediately latched onto that claim. Now they have gone hard after Elon Musk tonight and limiting the number of people that could listen to your father-in-law earlier tonight. Uh, Sean, I think it's pretty obvious at this point. There are a lot of people out there, and there's a massive effort, of course, to keep Donald Trump out of the White House. These people are terrified. This is the deep state. This is a swamp in Washington, D.C. These are the people who are our adversaries in many cases, and they know that the jig is up, the game is over when Donald J. Trump returns to the White House, and they're petrified of it. Who, who's they? Who's they? Uh, well, you know, it's, it's, it's the deep state. It, it's, it's the swamp. That doesn't answer the question. No, what it is, is that it was Elon Musk's crap website. These people are absolutely ridiculous. And by these people, I mean people on Fox News uh, that are defending Donald, that are defending Elon Musk, for one, uh, and then saying, uh, oh, deep state, uh, the swamp, whatever. No, 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 no. It's the fact that Elon Musk is incompetent and can barely run a website. Uh, now, this, of course, led to a torrent of mockery on X slash Twitter, starting with Kamala's wins, saying, breaking Twitter. That's it. That's the tweet. Uh, Jeff Tiedrich writes, So the guy who makes cars that randomly crash and burst into flames, which is true, uh, is interviewing Donald Trump, and the interview crashed and burst into flames. Holy crap, how did we see this? How did we not see this coming? Mm. Rob Den Bleicher uh, writes, I'm in the historic Musk Twitter space, and all you can hear is heavy breathing and the occasional fart. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Big massive dumps. Dumps. Okay. Uh, great. Great. <laughs> uh, another says, this is incredible. Trump slurring is, is slurring like crazy. Sounds like his teeth are falling out. Elon just saying, yeah. Yeah, while Trump steamrolls him, sounding like Sylvester the Cat. Uh, another says, was there a DDoS attack on Trump's voice that made him suddenly start to slur slash lisp? Maybe his dentures are loose. Bizarre. Bizarre indeed. But again, compression issues. Uh, so this is all tech. Now, this also reminded some people of uh, Ron DeSantis launching his failed presidential bid, once again, also on X. Uh, Damon Linker writes, Given that DeSantis tanked his campaign launch well over a year ago with a horribly glitchy X interview with Musk, you'd think X would have gotten its act together, enough to ensure the same thing wouldn't happen with this much-hyped interview. Well, you would think. Uh, but no, uh, apparently not. <laughs> John Levine writes, Elon going to uh, uh, really have trouble convincing VIP people to do events like this. 
in the future if this keeps happening. Which, by the way, you know, I must say, well, if Kamala Harris wants to come on too, that'd be great. You think she's going to touch your crap-ass website with a 10-foot pole? Come on. Come on. Ahmedi Hassan asks, who says you can't fire loads of people and still run an effective website? Mm. Now, speaking of the Harris campaign, they put out this post. Our statement on whatever that was. <laughs> Donald Trump's extremism and dangerous Project 2025 agenda is a feature, not a glitch of his campaign, which was on full display for those unlucky enough to listen in tonight during whatever that was on X.com. Trump's entire campaign is in service of people like Elon Musk and himself, self-obsessed rich guys who will sell out the middle class and who cannot run a live stream in the year 2024. Wow. Did did Harris, uh, did her team hire the Gravel teams? I'm just saying, because these that account is fire. All right, I'm just saying. Uh, now that said, there were some people who uh, were not bothered at all by these tech issues. Greg Gutfeld. This interview is good, but the bigger story is that two of the most important world figures agree on the world. Really? What's that tell you? It means, it, it tells me that they have more in common with each other because of class solidarity than anything else. That's what that tells me. The most consequential technical genius perhaps ever. No, he's just a capitalist who goes and buys up all these companies. <laughs> and, and the most consequential political figure, okay, are talking about stuff on equal footing. And Trump knows everything Musk is talking about concerning energy, artificial intelligence, and economic development. No politician could energetically engage on future uh, problems like this. Most would need a staff of 10 doing packets of research for each topic. And still the politician will have no idea what to think. Well, look, it's pretty easy for Donald Trump because all you have to do is just talk out your ass. Because that's all he did. <laughs> he said things that weren't true. <laughs> but uh, look, uh, Greg Gutfeld, total ass kisser, and we know it. But... Uh, another ass kisser, Elon Musk, who admitted even before this was happening that this was not, this was going to be a softball interview. Okay, the softest. This is this is like a this is like a koosh ball. Okay, remember those? He said no one is really themselves in an adversarial interview. It's hard to catch a vibe about someone if you don't hear them talk in just a normal way, uh, which sounds like totally a normal thing to say, right? To total totally normal person, Elon Musk. Okay. <laughs> Look, I'm going to be controversial here, though, uh, and disagree and say that Trump is actually at his best when he's doing adversarial interviews, because whatever this was, it was basically just two rich guys jerking each other. OK, that, that that's that's really all it was. All right. Tallywhacker. Tighten up my meat. I like my meat tight. That's all it was. It's, and it's just boring, boring. His entire 2024 campaign is just that. Boring. There's no juice. Okay? It's just the same old Donald Trump ideas and the complaints. The constant whining and complaining. Oh, I actually won the election and uh, the voter fraud. And, and then, of course, there's the, just the constant lies. And yet, Elon Musk, because of class solidarity, and that's the reality here, okay? Elon Musk doesn't want his taxes going up. He's there to lap it up like a little sycophantic puppy dog because that's what he is. Uh, and so at the end of the day, this entire interview is just one big giant yawn. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe with the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shutting down you become a member on our youtube page you become a subscriber on facebook or you can go to my patreon patreon.com slash jeff waldor thank you